I went to Florida to spend some time with my mother. She enrolled me in a traditional summer camp in the area. She thought because I was mainstreamed that I would get along perfectly fine with hearing students. By the time my mom picked me up at the end of the day, I was physically very sick to the point of vomiting. I broke down because I was so overwhelmed by feeling lost among all those hearing campers. I felt very alone and refused to go back. Many years later, I went to work at a deaf summer camp and was immediately blown away. I was incredibly moved seeing how effortlessly everyone communicated 24-7. The staff and campers were all deaf. The kids interacted with ease. Wow, it was vastly different from my own experience where I was the only deaf person in a sea of hearing people. My mom showed me a brochure and suggested I go to the summer camp. I was adamant that I not go. In fact, I was really offended by the idea of going to a deaf camp. I had a very hearing mentality then. All of the other campers began trickling in arriving at camp, and I was overwhelmed. They were all signing so fast, like lightning speed, and I was just like a turtle trying to keep up. After summer camp, when I was back home, I got to thinking. If I continued to acquire ASL, I would be able to have 100% understanding and access at a deaf school. I explained this to my mom and she needed no more convincing. She said, let's do it, and began her search for a school for the deaf. When I was first told about a deaf-blind camp in Washington State, I was enthralled. Upon arriving at camp, I was shocked at the number of deaf-blind people there. Roughly 75 to 100 people. There were all kinds of activities and things to do. For example, there was dancing, bowling, art, and so much more. I remember on the last day, as I was leaving, I noticed a new growing sense of pride in who I was. While attending Aspen Camp, I was among a diverse group of campers, from those who used ASL to signing exact English. Campers from different academic experiences all in one place, working together. They relied on me for my leadership, for my ideas. That brought me to realize, what's not to be proud of my deaf identity? Summer camp, along with my mainstream experience, truly made me who I am. This past summer, I spent an entire month at YLC, Youth Leadership Camp, wow. It was a rich experience, interacting with other people, team building, and problem solving. I learned it's okay to make mistakes. You learn a lot through those mistakes. After camp, I saw a major shift in my personal growth and confidence.